there. We're at Jimbo's. Let's see if he's home. Is Jimbo home? Hey, Jimbo. You're in the tire, are you? You're not having very much fun down there, are you? Some tire. Some tire. I'm constantly. Well, I haven't really tested that. What do you call it? Um, fate. <laughs> fate. <laughs> uh, I've been using pop rivets. Good man. Uh, I've been using these bigger pop rivets. Uh, they're. Yeah. Serious. You ain't getting. You ain't getting free of those suckers. And this is what you have to put them in with. <clears throat> oh wow. Because and it takes and if. If you happen to notice, both bars are bent. Yeah. And it takes all, it takes all my strength, but I'm weak as crap. But um, anyway, I'm getting there. Are you? I'm welding where I can, but the inner fenders are paper thin, and I have to use a number zero tip. That's and the number great. zero tip doesn't work good for me. Um, the number one works good, but it's way too hot. I'm just melting the metal right away, and I can't keep up with it with the rod. Uh, well, we want to watch you put super, in then. Super thin. But anyway, um, yes, that turned out... Um, Fantastic. Yep. Looks good, don't it? Uh, the screwdriver will fall. But anyway, it, it uh, fits. Jimbo, I get you to work on my car. With it jacked when, when up way up in the air, you can, it exaggerates that line because you're looking at it straight when usually you look down at it. That was good, Jimbo. You, know, you did a good job but, um, on that. Like it all up around the window it's better than what it's Be worth it's better in factory better than what it's worth but listen <laughs> it's worth what it is to the eyes you got it good though buddy the trunk lid uh was down on the corners and up in the center yeah. and that's from age and the board that, is that what's gonna happen to me age and the board i stuck in there at one time trying to get the trunk lid up bend it it wasn't the car wasn't bent it was the trunk lid but i was scared to come someone in the comments said um open it up all the way and come right onto it and that'll pull the the hood back down and the hinges up but i was scared because when you do that you're it's like uh bending a hood know what i mean like crinkle crinkle like um anyway i didn't do it i i just bought you're, you're a badass you get them rivets up in there um the hard part is the welding up in there because you got to lay on your back you can't hover in the air and you got to arms reach with the torch with the rod the slong and it's all i can do to see because i got to look out the bottom of my glasses and i got to put my head way back here because my top of my glasses are long distance and only down here work for like this far you can't dis disconnect your head Take no it <laughs> no i Quite a, quite a yeah. bunch of stuff to get rocking and rolling, um, haven't you? Yes, yes, and up and down constantly. But I haven't had any fires because I... The building's not burnt down. I'm right. not welding where the tire is. That's where the pop rivets are going in. And the same as up in here, there's a rubber. Yeah. I had to pop rivet that patch in. But quite a job here's a chunk of some of the tire that I took out. Like it, it's and that's just one chunk. Like there's at roofing. least a hundred times that much up in there. That factory? Yeah. Factory tar? Yeah, factory tar. Factory tar. Yeah. Can't throw that away. It's factory. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's good to see you guys. Yeah, we haven't yeah. seen you in a while. We've been. No, we I tried I, to come out twice, and we got sidetracked both times. Oh. Uh, well, you're doing better than I. I did. I got no excuse. I haven't tried to move off. Hey, off man, the spot. you're busy. But mm. the tar's looking good. Um, Can I shut your door and get a yeah, good visual? Yeah, I, uh, I'm leaving the bottom of the sill part to the last because as I work on it, the crap is falling down from up above. And once it falls down, then I'll take the blow gun and blow it out. Then I'll put that patch on. Like, I don't want to trap in a whole bunch of crap inside the sill. I already good got thinking. most of it out. You know thinking. what I mean? And, but anyway, it's not uh, very fun it, it took a little bit and then i decided to go with my first patch so i made the first patch and i drilled the holes put the rivets in 
and then I tried to weld the side of it, and that's when I discovered that I was just melting it away, like uh, way too thin, like paper thin. Um, I, so I had to go to the smaller tip, and then I found I can't weld uh, a lap weld facing away from me, two feet away towards me. <laughs> I have to get in underneath, so I had to put my head on top of the leaf spring, and there's just enough room between, between the inner fender and the bottom of my glasses to see the edge of that patch so I can twist and weld towards me this way, because there's only certain ways you can weld. Like You're a badass with a torch, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, it, not, not, um, nothing to brag about, um, but it's... Well, to get up in there and get, take, if you can take a look there, yeah. Bebe, just go up there uh, on that little yeah, mat there, just turn your knees down, show you where he's at, and the tort and the rivets up in yeah, there. Yeah, like, actually, yeah, quite a job. the camera will flip upside down probably, better, <laughs> better, better than you look, and I. See the t up in there? Wow, eh? <laughs> but, Getting her. And towards the fender itself, like uh, because the patch goes over this way, which is catty corner to your arm won't move in that direction same as some of my neck movement <laughs> won't go the way like what it wants me to do is it wants my head disconnected yeah. and hover up there about two feet and look down at it <laughs> and it doesn't work like that if you need anything metal rolled for that trunk you're more than welcome i got some i got some pieces that will fit in that trunk piece I should oh okay yes like I, got I don't have um, I don't have surplus of too much curved. I got stuff. a bunch over there. Okay, yeah. You're more welcome to it. Um, I got a bunch. I got a your bunch. that uh, Hudson um, car whatever chop roof yeah. and the fender skirts turned out good. It turned out good. Uh, what I've seen. Um, I'm happy with it today. We got like a, we did a video today. I have video. I I have slightly ideas that are different, but in the end. You didn't over chop it, and you did a good job on the windshield. Because if you have the windshield too small compared to the side windows, it doesn't look right. Yeah. And you got the you got the front windshield looking proportionally Not real bad. good. I'm happy with it. But it probably took some thinking on how to shrink which part to get where you want it, because you had a few choices there, yeah. and all of them were wrong. <laughs> Except for kind of one yeah. that you managed to find that magic spot to make it work. Yeah, I had fun doing it actually. Got it down on the ground today with the lowering blocks in it. Yeah, saw got, the got that. the fender skirts on it, and um, I'm yeah, what's well, looking mean? It was looking good. I'm happy with it. I think I want to drive it. If you know what I mean, I think I'd like to drive it every day or every other day if I could. If one yeah. percent of the time, as um, long as it works better than the Hudson I had. Well, I'm thinking I might put a, just put a small block in it. Yeah. So I can yeah. <laughs> Or even a Studebaker motor. Anything. Yeah. Well, even a straight six. But I, I've gotten yeah. like four or five small blocks there. I paid cheap money yeah. for. Yeah. And just to throw one of them in, yeah. you know, so I can run it down the road and drive it. I'm not going to paint it. I want to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm copying you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, uh, um... I splurged here. I told you, and I bought a set of wheel covers for this car. Yeah. Um, you splurged. They, you? Yes. Uh, How he much got, did you splurge? It was one hundred and twenty-five dollars American. <laughs> American. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eighty-five dollars for shipping. So that's three hundred and five dollars in Canadian, uh, but they haven't come yet, which will probably be another eighty or ninety dollars COD. So it'd be close to four hundred dollars for a set of one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Set of hubcaps. Okay. That's okay. that is the prime reason why this car is not getting anything else. Like even if someone offers me these for a hundred dollars, or two hundred dollars for a bumper, yeah. that's real good. Well, that's six hundred dollars, or eight hundred dollars. That looks good. Yep. Like, like I'm seeing like um as I said like, it's not double, it's triple. That looks good. You know, when you, one single guy orders from a single guy going through the border, the brokerage fees and stuff, it, it just quadruples. Yeah. You know, like I, I, like I did splurge to buy the set of hubcaps, which was actually a stupid idea because um, Oldsmobile has special clips on special rims to hold these special wheel covers that have no clips. They're discs. 
they have no clips on the back. There's no way of putting them on. You've got to have special clips with the special original wheels, which I don't have. So I don't have four wheels, and I don't have any special clips, and I have no idea what the special clips look like, but I know the hubcaps don't have clips on the back. They're smooth. They have, the 57 nose wheels have special clips, and they have their own rims. So these hubcaps are going to hang on the wall. Jesus. So oh, it was okay. a stupid uh, splurge. I would have been better off buying new headlight rings. Know what I mean? But I, do, I like the hubcaps you had on it. Well, those are Spirit. 78, 76 Spirit. But they look good? Yeah. What size but are they the, are 70s style. What like size are those? 14s. Yeah. 14s. That's I like oh, them. 57 nose wheels, 14. I like them. But anyway, the I am getting the wheel covers. They'll be here... First to next week, probably, you, but you know, I can't use them because, you know as I said, had? there's no clip, no way of putting them on. I have a, I have a set of 1957 with, with spinners on them, hubcaps. 14s? Yeah. And they're nice looking. 57 what? Chev. Chev. With spinners on them. So you would not, you really, it's hard to tell. They're and nice. then they don't, and they have a normal back like those. And you can they, put the, you can they, put they, on your they wheel. go on any rim. Yeah, 14 Because as I said, these Oldsmobile wheel ones don't have a clip arrangement. 14 inch. And I don't have original wheels. So, and there's none in Nova Scotia. You have to come take a look at them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, my splurge. It'd be cheaper than $400. Well, my splurge is, uh, as I said, they're already bought, so they're, they're on their way, and they'll hang on the wall until the I the come way, across the original wheels. The only way I'd give them to them is if you used them. That's yeah. the only way I'd give them to you. Um, they're probably more period correct than what I got behind well, me. this is 57, is it not? Yeah, but those yeah. behind me look 70s, right? right? Anybody that knows knows that that's AMC yeah. hubcap. So if you'd use them, you're, you're more you can not If you don't want to, if you didn't use them, you can't have them. Because I like them myself. Yeah, no. Because they got um, spinners on them and everything. Yeah. They're sharp. Yeah, I... That's nice when you shine the light well, up. I'm so going to weld see. it here. Yeah. For this side, right? You know, like on the inside, I'm welding where I can here. But um, I... Yeah, I... Yeah, we, I have a wheel thing for that. And you can cut it in half and make it fit, or I can cut it in half and make it fit. You'll soon be done. Um, well, it's going to take me another couple of days just to do yeah, the, finish up these wheel wells. But you've been on it for all winter. Yeah, It'll yeah. Soon be done. Well, actually, I've only been at it since like uh, twelve o'clock today. <laughs> <laughs> the last two or three days, uh, uh, last few days, I've taken off. Like you've I, taken a break, haven't you? You um, said you were sore. You're well, sore. to work up over your head, you've got to have enough strength in your arms to at least pick up a hammer. Yeah, and he wasn't see, there. twenty years ago, I pulled this muscle. It, this muscle is gone. I cannot. That's as high as I can lift my arm. If I want my arm to go higher, uh, this arm makes that arm go higher. I can't. I can't even lift. That's it. That's as far. Yeah. That's as high as it goes. There's no muscle there. It, it's gone. Is that the arm I'm getting, sweetheart? It's. It can't heal. It can't heal because it's not there. It's ripped. It's gone. It's. I. I ripped it, literally ripped it, and then I've been, and that was like 25 years ago. Seen you on your snowmobile once there. Um, yeah, not, we didn't really have enough snow. Once, tw yeah, once or twice. Huh? Yeah. Is it worth having them? Yeah. I, I like to have one once myself. Once every but. six or seven years, we have 10 feet of snow for two months, and that's when you get to drive. <laughs> when it's so deep that you have to shovel a tunnel to get to the barn. That's then you good. can drive that, and then you, of course, you're good, not going to go far. You're going to get stuck, and then you, when the snow melts a little bit, you dig another tr tunnel to the snowmobile, and then you start it up, make a tra trench, and as long as you're real smart, you can get a few buzzes around. But um, like that, that winter we had a few winters back with all the snow every day, ten yeah. feet of snow. Well, I drove that quite a bit that winter, but I never left my lawn. I couldn't go in the field. The snow was too deep. Uh, I couldn't go in the field. If I went in the field, I couldn't get back out. Like the snow sat on top of the grass bushes and made it uh, even less stable. So, and it was like super deep. That's a half speed grinder. Half speed. 
Yeah, it's not a grinder. It's, um, here, I'll plug it in. Nikita. Well, no, you can use it. Uh, actually, that doesn't really tell the story. Go grind a little bit on that, just to t just to let you know. You're not using that. No, that's yeah. broken. It's broken. That's wide open. That's all it is. It's brand new. Put a hay gasket on that. Yeah, but it's got a crack from number one to number six. No, I'm just... <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it's not a grinder. It's it's just what it is. It only revs about six grand. That's not a bad tool for stripping paint. If you had the 36 yeah. grit on it, right? It wouldn't have too much power Yeah, it, to hurt anything. Yes, because mm -hmm. heat is the problem, yeah. isn't it? Well, it is, I know, in buffing. But anyway, it... Doing the yeah, trick? I, um, Caught you working anyway. Yep. Yes, and this is, as I said, I've taken a few days off, but... It, uh, it's, it's looking real good. Looking real good. I found it, found it, there's a place on the internet where you can get uh, where you can get gas tanks. Oh. Yeah. Um, like under two or three, under five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not sure, but there's on the internet. There's a on Kijiji. It has a shop, place where it says where you can get like old gas tanks. They're bringing them back from. Must be the states, I guess. Bring a truckload of stuff back. You might be able to get a gas tank for it. It'd be nice, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? And trying to fix that? Uh, yeah, I know. That's That's kind of nice. like fixing these inner fenders. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're doing a I good know. job. It's going. Yeah. It's just you have to. Well, as I said, the tar up in there is just unbelievable amount of tar. You know, like the more you look, the more you see. So, and you're going to cover it back up with tar, or you're um, going to cover it back up with seam sealer? Goopy's undercoating. Seam sealer? Well, no. Um, oh, seam sealer or tar on anything visual. But I, I don't have the apparatus to put the original tar back up inside the quarter panel. Well, I just take a squeegee, like, get some squeegee on, so it's on nice, and then undercoat with rocker. Yeah, well, you're never gonna do it again, are you? No, but I mean the undercoating up in here. Yeah. I'll just uh, I got an undercoating gun. And I'll pour undercoating in. No, just reach up in there and just pollute it with undercoating. Gotcha. Like that's instead of the tar. Like they put tar inside the panels, like up in here. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing that. That's just gonna get <laughs> undercoating. But I'll be tarring or seam sealing everything in the trunk and in the wheel wells. You know, in the sinners, yeah, make the it look floor. good and, yeah. and clean it. And yeah, make it so it's watertight. Yeah, I want to take a walk back here for a second. Look at your fender on your Studebaker. Oh, okay. It's got a cut, it's got the side mounts on it. I'm thinking about putting side mounts in that car. Oh, I think they look good. Side hmm. mounts, don't you, Jimbo? Like these things here, don't you think they look nice? Um, for yeah. the spare wheel, yeah, I think they look nice. Yeah. I think I want to put, they, uh, put one in the There's car. the mount, actually, that's on the side of the frame. It's in, it goes to the bottom of that. They okay. don't rest the fender, uh, uh, they don't rest the weight of the tire on the fender. It's on that brace that comes out from the frame. Okay. I was thinking about cutting the fender and making one. Yeah. You only get one side mount? Yeah, that's how they came originally. But the, the weight is off that. Yeah. Okay. And then they put a bar from that to the top that has a spindle that bolts the rim. Okay. Know what I mean? Like, pretty... I'm not sure if I'd be make it the same way, but I was just going to take one of them wheel, yeah. those fender things that I have from Princess Auto, and shrink it yeah. down and then put it inside the fender and then go that way, I guess. I'm not sure. But that's what I was thinking. That's quite a bracket, okay. Yeah. Man, look at the leaf springs in that bad boy. Yeah, look at the leaf springs in that. Wow. Yes, and Dad told me a story. Wow. These, back in the day, if you broke the center bolt, yeah. your wheels went like this. Oh, wow, because it would take off. Um, yeah, it was still held on by the control arms, but the whole thing would drop sideways there was, it had no way of holding the wheel straight up and down if the center bolt broke good way to know
But um, yes, I I'm sort of getting ex a little bit excited to uh, work on this, but um, I'm so close to being done on the bodywork here in the welding oh, stick with it. that stick I want to get this kind of done. Now, I do have a dilemma when it comes to a lot of electrical wires and things don't work, but uh, stick that, with it. That, that, um, that's not really the biggest issue, uh, but... Stick with it. It's going good. But it looks, I, I want to get all my all this welding and body work done so I can kind of, well, well see this seal one, this and tar and undercoat and, and fix the wires a little bit. And no, you're doing good. I'd stick with it. Doing yeah. awesome. Looks good. People are Yo. enjoying it, are they not? Yeah, and as I said, and the ones that um, don't just matter. because this is a miserable job, that's not the reason to stop working on it to go to another car. Because as I said, once that miserable that's job's done, I would do. then I can... <laughs> I, I can finish up this a little bit and the those mounts there and then I'm basically done the hard stuff. Yeah. You know, not that electrical problems are easy, but they're a totally different field than welding, tar, and Oh, it's a hard this, job when you're going on there. Ooh. Yeah. And as I said, I had to give myself a few days. I had to have as much strength and not enthusiasm. I, I did not have to take a break for enthusiasm. Um, I can guarantee you that. But uh, I, matter of fact, uh, I had to psych myself up for four or five days to do it. Uh, enthusiasm, yes, I got some enthusiasm. But I'm telling it was you, mostly just my, I had to have a little more strength in my body to I'm telling you, weird you positions and welding up in, like I hate working up above my head. Yeah. It's, it's like a carpenter that um, he can, say, strap a ceiling. Yeah. Strapping a ceiling. Yes, you're putting two and a half inch nails into the beams yeah. over your head, like however you're doing it. Well, if you're doing a half a house, like an old house, and you're strapping the ceiling, and then the you're- The whole house. Well, or half a house, half, even downstairs, yeah. like several rooms, um, and then, like when I put the ch I put chipboard uh, on the ceiling in my shop, and I figured if any moisture comes through from the roof leaking on the barn, chipboard would last longer than plaster. Oh, for sure. If plaster gets wet, it comes down. You put new up. Chipboard gets wet, it dries out and looks a little wetty, but at least it's still there. So I put chipboard on. <laughs> well, I used that uh, that engine, that hoist that I have yeah. with a sawhorse to put my chipboard up, and I fitted it. And then I put like maybe four or five two-inch nails in, not two and a half inch, two-inch spiral nails, chipboard nails, and put it in to hold it there. And then I went to the next sheet and I did the whole all like a couple days I had all the sheets up with half a dozen nails in each sheet so it's still sunk down in the odd spot and then I spent another day with another handful of nails uh, snugging it up just a little bit more then I rested for a few days because my arms were kaput and then I took another handful of great big nail of those same nails and I started the nails on the line, like every six inches, I put a nail uh, on the stud uh, going across on all sheets. So the entire ceiling had like a thousand nails sticking out, oh, like all bang. started, like bang, bang, bang. And then another nail and another nail and none of them were homed. And I did every sheet. So the whole ceiling looked like a por porcupine. <laughs> And then uh, two weeks later, my arms were good enough. I went and I pounded them all in. But I couldn't pound them all in in one day. I could only pound in a couple sheets. And then I had to leave it alone for a few days. And then I'd pound in another couple sheets worth. And after like a month, I finally had all the nails in the ceiling chipped. Good way to do it? A carpenter would do it in two days. Bang, 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 and not stop. Oh, yeah, well, I mean. But that same person could probably do a, um, a thousand sit-ups when I can do two. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like, um, 
I used to be a lot stronger when I was in my 20s and 30s, but uh, the last 25 years, my muscles are not, they do not get stronger. They just get sore. Yeah. Then you recover, and then you can lift you up your coffee sorry, again. So. Ah, I can lift my coffee. I don't, it doesn't take two hands to lift my coffee. Like it, someone told me, if you don't weight lift, if you don't have the structure of being strong, if you don't weight lift like it's going out of style most of your life, when you're old, you will be feeble and weak. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not and sure. Um, it's I, yeah, proof. you lose I, it if you don't. Yeah, if I you have do no not muscles. Use it, you lose it. Yes, I have no muscles in my arms. My arms are kapuffed. Kapuffed. Yep. Just like that thing you're saying. Like you're kapuffed. strong. I, I've seen you do a lot of things that. Uh, oh, I wasn't. I'm not. I wasn't able to do that <laughs> for the last thirty years. Well, but um, um, I keep moving around. Oh, I'm gonna weld. I gotta weld one spot right now. Close. Do it. You see that wire up there? It's going to the um, dome light. There's two wires right up there behind the hinge. Oh, I'm in. We're in the shadow. There. That wire. I'm welding right there because I got the edge oh, of my patch too close to the edge of the sheet metal and I yeah. can't ribbit it. So I'm going to weld that while you guys are here to make sure I don't burn it. I've already welded a little bit and I scraped the tar out, but it's risky business because I got to weld. <laughs> like tar can come from it. Like the tar right? says, oh, over here, over here, there's a red spot over here, everybody. And they're all the tar will run from over here over to where I got it welded just to catch it on fire. So anyway, do, you have a, do you have a light that I can... You won't need a light. You will see. You if it's on fire, you will see it. All right. Now, uh, if it's on fire, there's a screwdriver right there that you can reach up in there to scrape the tar out while it's burning. But anyway, it won't t it, it'll only take me a couple minutes, but while you're here, I'm going to take advantage of you. Take advantage of me, Jim. Yes, as I said, uh, I started to weld it, and then... I actually, I, I went to put a pop ribbon in, and the edge is too close to my patch edge. I don't, I can't do it. Well, you're quite something else with that torch, I can tell you that. Weld this car up, I'll tell you. Yeah, I gotta do it at arm's reach, because I can't, I can't kneel upside down. It's kind of a bitch. Say that again? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I see where you're at. Quite. I'm not getting real, real close, but I do have to get in here a little bit. Do you want them wires burned off? No. Well, Jesus, I get the shit. Can I get up in the trunk? Yes. <sighs> Jesus. Dimbo. Get them. Just a minute, bye. Yeah, go ahead. Whoops. She'll step on you, Jimbo. Just keep the wires away from this from his heat. I'm welding away from it. And I'm not going back. Oh, I understand, but you got wire, you know, wires right close by, so they'll yep. melt pretty easy. Hmm. Brand new speed nuts on all your chrome, or brand new lock nuts on all your chrome, I see. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> Give it to him, Jolene. Kick him while he's down. Okay, I can get the rest. It's away from the wire now. <laughs> yeah, it's way up. Jim, ooh. Oh, I only like quarter another another quarter of an inch. I would have caught finish where it. I stopped. Well, finish it. That way, there we know you know it's done. You have to get back up in there. And besides that, I'm in the trunk, and I'm like, it's over. Um, I'm not welding any closer to that rivet but anyway it that's fine i'm more than welcome to hold it out of your way so it doesn't oh i stopped right at my i well right here 
and I stopped. It, actually, I stopped because it looked like it was already welded, but I couldn't quite tell because I'm, I can hardly turn my head back far enough to see what I'm doing. Mm. Got it? Yeah, I good? got it. Yeah, I, okay. I'm good. If I can get the rest, no problem. It's in a spot where there's, it's all right if it burns. It's all right if it burns, he says. Yeah. Burn, mm. baby, burn. Uh, I had a, I got a, a rivet that didn't work quite right. Um, I'll let you have this side. I'll go to the other side and hold it. It's the bottom rivet uh, to the front. Uh, here's the hammer. What do you want me to do? Pound on the rivet one while I hold the hammer head on the other side. It, it went loose. I, it... Oh, I, yeah, okay. Just a sec uh, here. Well, Gigi even took a piece of metal and fitted it up in that little spot and everything. You're badass. Okay. Uh, oh, the very first one? The very first one. On the passenger side. Uh, yes, and facing the steering, coming towards the steering wheel. This one right here? Yeah. Oh, you hold the hammer and I'll hit it. Okay. In a second. Yeah. Got it? Yeah, that's, that's good. It was just loose. I just wanted it a little bit slicker. Oh, gee. <laughs> I didn't know what that was jumping down there. That was a cricket. They take an awful beating, don't they? They do here, eh, Jimbo? Oh, hurt my arm up. Yeah, good. Jeez, oh, that arm is so Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good. What do you got there, Jimbo? Is that the dirt? That your is car? that is from sweeping the floor under this Oldsmobile <laughs> on each job. <laughs> that's out of that car. <laughs> yeah, that's dirt from off the car and off the floor from my each at the end of each job. I sh I sweep and shovel up, and I ran out of buckets, and I need a bucket, so I dumped everything here, and there's my two buckets that I was using, but that is all dirt off the Oldsmobile and rust and little welding rods and oh my, wow, dirt from the field hey. off the inner underneath the car. Wow. Well, you almost got her though, man. You <laughs> yeah. almost got her. It's looking good. I uh, something exciting exciting sort of happened that I could have shared but I can't remember <laughs> so uh, it's gonna have to I guess wait until the next time <laughs> yeah no we're no nope, good uh, that um, we're looking for a kitchen like, sink I'm gonna be welding this from this side gotcha. you know what I mean yeah. you know like I and as I said, anywhere's where the tires give me a trouble. And also, I'm using pop rivets, but the drill bit, um, most of my drilling for the pop rivets, when I drill, I go through and come back, and the drill bit is full tire. Oh. You know what I mean? So if I went out there, I'd have a blaze. And you can't even reach. Like, the only way you can get up in there is with honest, the water to hose. To be honest with you, the, the water hose. The rivets is probably better than your, I know. Than your welding up in there. And the reason being is you're not heating the metal all up. Oh, that. welding destroys the metal. Yeah. Yeah, on the back side. It, like even the undercoating has a hard time with the condition of yeah. the metal. You almost need to sandblast it. No, it's looking good. But anyway, um, I'm just going to spray goopy undercoating up in there and it'll seep out through the rivets which will give it a little bit of life oh it's got life i, I reseal mm. that thing back up with the turret head and clean it like squeegee it on there nice and undercoat it and find its kind for many 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 years um you know we, we well if we we all know if you do a exceptional job and you put it in a decent place and take a uh, relatively decent care of it it'll outlast at least six generations of mankind yeah like if you're going to run it but if you winter. drive your everyday car it won't last 10 years no <laughs> there but, you go 
Yeah. Mm. It's nice outside. Yes, it wasn't go, first you thing. You want a little sun, sweetheart? Beautiful outdoors. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, I need another coffee. Oh, it is nice out. It is nice out. Mm. Kind of drove up maybe a little far. As you uh, no, that's the driveway. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah. Um, no, no, um, that's what driveways are for. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you get stuck, uh, I can always get the tractor out. And pull Jeez, I hope not. Ugh. But it is... Pretty there's sweet. a little bit of topsoil on top, but it's it's slate underneath. Oh, there's Fina waiting for you yeah, in your yeah. seat. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hello, Fiend Bean. Yeah, the same procedures happening on the other quarter panel inner fender as this one, too. I'm not going to, like, I'll be pop ribbiting wherever the tire is. But wherever. I don't blame you a bit. Wherever you can see, I don't want the pop ribbits to be visible from inside the trunk. Yeah. So anywhere there, I'm going to weld. Even if is I that why you're doing that? Yeah, I okay, don't want the pop rivets on the inside. It wouldn't bother me, but it is what it is. Yeah, so I'll be welding. Same as I have to weld the inner fender where it comes down. You got to you meet gotta, that you squirrely piece of metal hanging out of your hair. Yeah, to cut you. Oh yeah, I do, do I? You do. Ouch! <laughs> as I told you. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't I? Alrighty, we're gonna sign off. It's a beautiful yeah. day here in, in Nova Scotia. I'm out with Jimbo in his car there. We'll just see what he's doing. Jolie wants to buy a kitchen sink for the for the apartment. I Maybe got a I apartment. got a pretty good little bathroom sink, but I don't have any spare kitchen sinks. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna buy one. Okay. We'll, get, we'll get one at the hardware store or something. But anyways, we're signing right. off. Jimbo's the man. Oh, I wouldn't say that, but I, I, I am glad that I was working on this thing today when you guys showed up. <laughs> you know, I've been goofing around for like days, 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 and starting to get bored. Don't be bored. Come like on bored and restless. So I decided, no matter. Oh, I and I don't like welding up in wheel wells, and I don't like pop ribbiting, and know what I mean. I, but anyway, as so you're not having your one patch after another, I'm starting to get down to where it's more decent and humanly friendly at the bottom, and then I got to do it all over again on the other side. But um, the good thing is, I only have to do these wheel wells like once. Yeah, it's not an everyday occurrence. It's it's a horrible thing. But once I get through, then it's a it's much better. I'll be happy. I'll be just, that's how I. That's one of the things I've learned. Um, uh, that's what kind of inspires me. Uh, it's what's ever on your mind that bothers you, and it won't go away. And say it's a job that you have to do. <laughs> do that fucking job, and then you can celebrate. And know what I mean? Like I've been kind of like the few days it was great, just sitting in by the fire. But after a few days, I get restless. I, I'm get bored then I get depressed in the evening because I didn't do anything all day important so by this has been on my mind for like a week so anyway today tonight I'll be able no actually I'll be out there pop ribbit I'll probably be on to the other side by tonight because awesome. I won't be able to stop awesome but anyway <clears throat> yeah you already said bye so I'll let you go what's your YouTube, <laughs> what's your YouTube channel uh 2826 Patterson, yeah, 2826 Jim Patterson. Make yeah. sure you click the button and give him a oh. subscription <laughs> or follow or something like that. Well, right I'm working on an Osmobile junk, so uh, don't expect chop grooves and hot rods popping out with 426 Hemi's and things like that because that isn't going to happen here. Basically, I had no, to be, no finances for that. Like, to be honest with you, you're basically <laughs> doing what everybody, you know, most people do, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like Not everybody I, can afford a quarter of a million dollar hot rod. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, really, like, yeah. everybody wants to fix up an old car, don't they? Well, even the day that it, you could spend four to five thousand dollars and rebuild a V8. That's not Supreme. No That's not anymore. It's more like ten thousand dollars now. Yeah. And then you're not getting nothing special. You're getting a rebuild. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Mm. Signing off. Signing off. Mm.